Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will introduce you to our first programming instruction, the AND logic. Let's get started. In the last chapter, we created our first project. A push button was used to control a lamp. The input and output were directly linked using an assignment. So when we press the button, the lamp lights up. Super easy. Now things are getting more interesting as we add another input to our program. Our goal is to control the output using an AND logic between the inputs. For the lamp to light up, input 1 must be true and input 2 must be true. Before I show you the AND connection in different programming languages, let's first discuss a real-world example in Factory IO. That way we keep the practical aspect in focus. Let's go! I have prepared something really cool for us. Here you can see a water tank. This tank is filled through a valve. However, filling only takes place when the system is turned on and the button is pressed. A perfect example for an AND logic. This is what the program looks like in ladder logic. The valve is only activated if the system is switched on and the fill button is pressed. If only the button or only the switch is activated, nothing happens. All right, let's delete this network quickly and I will show you how to program an AND logic from scratch. It's actually quite simple. The switch and the button are sensors. They are connected to the PLC's inputs. For this, I will add two contacts. You will find contacts in the favorites bar as well as over here. The valve is an actuator. It is connected to the PLC's output, so we will add an assignment for it. I have already created PLC tags for the sensors and actuators. Now I can place them into the program. Job complete. This is what an end logic looks like in ladder. Now let's switch the programming language to function block diagram. In FBD we create our program using logic blocks. You can find them in the favorites bar and over there in the instruction list. It's just like in ladder. For our application, we need an AND logic operation. You can simply drag and drop it into the workspace. I will quickly delete the program and recreate it from scratch. Don't worry, it only takes a few seconds.
You can expand the end logic by clicking on the small yellow star. Super easy. That's one of the reasons why I really like programming in FBD. If you want to use an input that doesn't exist in the PLC text, you can also create and label it directly in the program. I have now cleaned up the program. Next, let's see it in action. Thank you so much for learning PLC programming with me. If you want to take your skills to the next level, visit my website. Join my full online course and start your journey as a PLC programmer. I would love to have you on board. Perfect! In the final step we will create the same program in SCL. For that I will add a new SCL network in organization block 1. In SCL programming is text based. That means you have to type in the instructions. Now let's test the SCL program together. Alright friends, I hope you could follow along. We have now learned how to create an end logic in LAD, FBD and SCL. You can also clearly represent the relationship between inputs and outputs using a logic table like this. Here you can see that input 1 and input 2 must be true for the outputs to be activated. And this is exactly how I will explain the most important programming instructions of the TA portal to you in the upcoming chapters. Yoohoo! I am really looking forward to it. See you soon! Thank you so much for watching. If you are excited to dive deeper into PLC programming, visit my website at plccoach.com. See you in the next video.